This month's OCG tournament continues. We actually have Cody Angeloff playing Goki against Akatsuki lead yoke down here. Piloting what is going to be Kleestun. I will say this. It is extremely awesome seeing Kleestun actually getting the chance to actually shine. Um, especially in an OCG setting like this. So kick back, relax, and let's enjoy just how crazy good Maxi still is in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So we got Cody down here starting off with the Hero Lives, probably crying himself to sleep. Uh, Stratos set one past this man, just tributed for malicious and past. Man, his hand might have actually been able to get somewhere, but uh, sometimes bad things happen. We've actually got a really nutty hand down here. Like, Summoner's Art Emptiness Stealth, this, this is going to be a pretty quick bloodbath, actually. Like, setting this up with this and this should potentially guarantee lead yoke in game one, and probably one of the sickest moves ever. So we got Cleefort Scout being activated, fresh 800 life points. We'll see if he, if his opponent negates this. I, I don't know if it's correct to Ash Boss in this, but we'll see. Yep, Cody letting it pass through, so... We're going to be setting up some Pendulum Scales, probably Pendulum Summoning this, and then Tribute Summoning for the Fiend, and just rolling for game. I think would be probably one of our alternatives. You could also just Pendulum Summon um, and hold this, but I don't think that's correct. I think you just throw your big balls on the table and you just roll with it, because you have absolutely no reason not to just Vanity Fiend your opponent. Um, so, um, he did misclick on the carrier here. He is going to correct it um, for the Monolith. Monolith Pendulum Summon 1 into The Fiend and set 3. God, that's disgusting. Well, your turn. So, Akatsuki Lead Yoke, bringing up a good point, not really knowing what his opponent could have set, and that that's the quickest game one ever. Like, Cody totally gets shut off from playing the game just straight like that. Like, that should show you that Max C, being an inherently broken card, goes to degenerate game states in probably one of the easiest fashions ever. Now that's just game one. I love when things get done quick. So we're probably going to be seeing Cody opting for first again, knowing what his opponent's playing. Man, this man draws vanity's emptiness like it's his job. Now we're probably going to see hashtag just Goki things, Terror Top, talk him to board into Invoker. This has become like the very standard play. Um, remember, Terror Top is at two in the OCG. So they get to take a lot more advantage of things because just as much summon invoker literally starts your combo piece, which is so dumb. Like, he's going to be able to assault it here um, off of resolving uh, suplex um, into summon sorceress. Like, it's it's so free. <laughs> Searching for Armageddon Knight's pretty good. Octo stretch with the sword. This is where things start to get pretty good. Summon Sorceress now continuing on with the trend. Uh, we'll be able to clone another warrior here in a second as soon as this surge goes off. Basically what you should be getting from this is the power structure of turns that this deck can generate because of things like Summon Sorceress are absolutely insane. And Stratos just adds even more into the fire. Uh, that is the OCG leg. I'm actually bonkered out by why this card exists in the OCG, because you just get free recruitments. It's actually just insane. Cody recruiting back with Phoenix Blade here, so we can start setting up for more potential plays. A goblin with rematch. Oh, God, it starts just getting even worse here. Uh, malicious co-linked now with the firewall to start doing its thing. Uh, we have an Ibli just chilling out here, <laughs> getting ready to be handed to the opponent. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Like, well, we've started the first part of the extra link. Um, kind of curious to know what kind of board he's going to be able to end on here. Goblin turning on its cold link effect. Uh, discarding Armageddon Knight, actually. That's relatively interesting. God, this game would have been so good had, you know, we been able to actually go first. Another Stratos coming down. Uh, we're now going to make another link two. Uh, we have Cerberus just chilling here to extend out the extra link. Firewall bouncing three, so this man can continue along with his day. Going to recur more value with the sword. Just a nice little cluster of monsters here. One second, we gotta come over to this part of the world. 
So, kind of a shame that we didn't resolve Firewall there, but can't complain about anything. Ibley's going to do her thing, bringing back another goblin. Uh, so we can probably put the Kirin here, or quite possibly the Trigate, um, depending on how he does this. So moving on along, we have Trigate being set up. Does this man just get a full seven monster link Kirin establishing here? Which is actually fine. God. So much value. Bouncing back the Ibley to the deck. I want to give your opponent another monster. So I assume that we can just toggle out into Link Karibo here. We still have to put another monster here. Um, this can get us into a Link 3. So we've got the Link Karibo completing the extra Link here. What do we go into next? Huh. OCG extra links are fun. Alright, we have a Phoenix. Man, this is me. I've sold Church 2. Monster Reborn, target the firewall. Break my board. I'm fairly. <laughs> what a fucking board. Beautiful. Now that's a fuck me if I've ever seen it. Seven Ways from Sunday. I, I think you have to make an attempt to try to do something here, right? Like, it's really the only thing you can do playing this deck. Oh, he's got the Ash Blossom. Go, go, go. Summoner's Art. So you've got a Trigate, Negate. You have Firewall Bounces. Your opponent. Well, what the fuck do you attempt to do here? I don't think you can really do anything. Three Scott's pretty good, I heard. 800 doing his thing here. Pendulum Summon. Attack the Karibo. Hmm. I really, I think Lee Joke has lost this leg. Yeah, there was no way to recover from that. Well, you know what happens now? We start this bitch off. Oh, that's not a hand you want to see being the the Klee player. Oh no no no! God, he's on the bare minimum too. This might not be good. We have summon the carrier and set one. Preps S Fs to pay respects to Lee Joke. This is not good. And down comes Magical Midfield Breaker. So at the activate at the start of your main phase one or two. During either player's main phase, monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by their opponent's card effects. Also, neither player can target monsters. Their opponent controls. You cannot activate or set field spells. Down comes the hero lives. Um Yep, you can Ash Blossom that, all right. <laughs> Magical Mid Field Breaker Cart is a really good field spell. Not allowing you to target monsters is good, but the Ash Blossom on a Hero Lives is actually even better. Wow, Twin Twisters. Did Cody actually need that Hero Lives? What? Um... Foolish Barrel for Malicious. Does he have a core normal? Is the last card in his hand playable? Oh, wow. Nope. He's just got Ibley. Wow. He hard drew the brick. What a hand. Holy shit. Go, go, Pendulums. That's nuts. Wow, this man top decked another judgment. Cool, so you just put yourself in a power play. You just set the pendulum scales, pendulum summon the one, and set the judgment, right? Yep, I probably would have pendulum summon here, honestly. Freed up your zone. We've got 3,500 life points and a dream right now. Magical midfield breaker is so good. This man has to be able to produce in a soul day. Oh, yeah, I'll pay half my life points to negate that. Fuck yes. Oh, my God. So good. Well, this might be it. Top decked Sacrifice. That's not what he needs. His opponent can top deck another Hero Lips. Um, Cancer Trim or Stratos. Oh, my God, we're sitting and passing. If that's any part of a Goki engine, he can be in this. Like, this is actually nuts. Oh, my God. 
Well, now we have the Goki engine going, which not good. Octo stretch into the Link Karibo in the pass. Oh my god. Did he just top deck this game? Are you fucking getting me? Does Cody play through the mag C? Like, if he does. Oh my god. He's going for it. All of these cards. Sword draw. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, you have to keep going. Man, this man keeps drawing all this stuff. Summon Sork for the special. Wow. So his opponent couldn't even make the Summon Sorceress that you saw there a second. And Cody has to play the sum or play the Soul Charge um, to try to get him out of this predicament. Because uh, he couldn't make the Summon Sorceress because of the same types. So now he has to actually try to do things. Like... This is so bad. I don't even know why we stopped drawing cards down here. There we go. We caught up. So it doesn't even really matter. Cody's at 500. And no matter what happens here, you just have to be able to attack over one of these monsters and ping him for 500, which is so easy to do. At this point, I'm actually so shocked that he's just playing through Maxi. Like, Rivalry is a really good card. Driver, continuing on along with our day. He's really going for this deck out. Oh, no Boral Sword for you. That's actually really good. Wow. Does Cody play Boral Sword? He does not play Boral Sword. What? That's interesting. Oh, no, there it is. Cool. I was worried there for a second. Jesus. Just continuing to plow along here. I, this man thinks, like, he's getting somewhere. All right. Draw for turn. These are, this is our hand. Um, do we just pendulum summon at all? Like, I think it's literally all you just do here. You have to be able to ping your opponent for 500. Yep. Does this do it? Yep, it does. Tribute summon, attack over. Yep. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Kleestun snags a victory because Max sees a hell of a card. Alright, guys, I'm out. <laughs>